Have you ever wondered why we age? Why do we get gray hair, wrinkles, and declining sight? How does aging cause changes in our bodies, or how do changes in our bodies cause aging? Well, the answer to this age-old question is telomeres. Before telomeres, scientists and philosophers had come up with many theories of aging, including entropy, loss of a vital spark, hormones, and mitochondrial free radicals. However, none of these could provide a solid explanation for why our health declines with time. So what are telomeres? Telomeres are protective caps of DNA at the ends of eukaryotic chromosomes, which repeat the sequence TTAGGG. You can think of telomeres as the aglets or shoelaces. Each time a cell in your body divides during mitosis, the DNA must be replicated. The first step to replication is the RNA primase attaching to the DNA, and then other proteins called DNA polymerase 3 can lay down more nucleotides to make a copy on each strand of the original DNA. Then DNA polymerase 1 replaces the RNA primer with DNA. However, DNA polymerase 1 cannot attach to the very end of the chromosome, so the final bit of RNA primer is never replaced by DNA, and it is eventually removed. As a result, the end of the telomere is not replicated, so the telomere gets shorter and shorter each time the cell divides. When there is no more aglet left, the shoelace frays and is unusable. Likewise, when there is not enough telomere left, the cell reaches its hay flip limit and shuts down. For most human cells, this would allow for about 50 divisions before cell death. In addition, research has shown that as telomeres shorten, overall productivity and efficiency of the cell declines, leading to your body being more susceptible to disease, more likely to be injured, and slower to recover. But with over 2.7 billion years of eukaryotic evolution behind us, why couldn't our cells figure out how to repair their telomeres? First, it would be deadly if they did, and second, they already have. Evolutionary biologists believe that the Hayflick limit has protected us from cancer, since it limits the number of times those cancerous cells can divide. And there actually are cells in the body that can repair their telomeres. Those are the germ cells, also known as sex cells. If these cells couldn't restore their telomeres, it would be impossible to reproduce beyond a few generations, because the cells in the offspring would be old. Germ cells use a special enzyme called telomerase, whose only job it is to add back the TTAGGG sequence to the end of the telomere, making the cell young again. Knowing this, scientists are now coming up with new ways to treat age-related diseases, such as Alzheimer's and atherosclerosis using a type of telomerase therapy. But don't expect immortality anytime soon, as the threat of an increased risk of cancer still limits this field of research. In the meantime though, you can follow Nobel laureate Elizabeth Blackford's research, which shows that stress and a poor diet lead to an even more rapid decrease in telomere length over time. So just do your best to live a healthy, happy life, and your telomeres will thank you.